Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerlay and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to learn about Loomly. Loomly is a social media management tool and we're going to go in and set it up and actually see what it does. If you're starting your business and you're feeling overwhelmed from posting all over the place and just trying to find the time to do it by the end of the day, that sometimes seems like all that you've gotten done is that you've posted post it right now many of you already realize that you don't need to be posting all over the place if you have one place that you post that's enough especially in the beginning and you want to build from there but today we're not talking about what you should be doing as far as posting but I'm going to offer you a tool that's going to help you post ahead of time. So you could take a day and say, I'm going to post out everything for the month and have it set and it will go ahead and post for you. Now, another way to do that is to hire a virtual assistant, but some of us just don't have the funds right now to hire a virtual assistant. So you're looking for software tools that are going to help make your life easier so that you can put your time into things that are creating money. All right. So Loomly, let's get started let's go in and look at it and like i said we're going to go right to the beginning and we're going to set it up to show you how easy it is they do have a 15-day review there is a link below so go ahead and hit that if this is something you're interested in but before you do that check it out here and see if this is something that you'd be interested in. All right, when you get on the first page when you get your 15 day review they're gonna it's you're gonna create a calendar and that's exactly what you're doing you're scheduling your posts so i wanted you to see how easy it is to set up you're just going to follow you can add a lo logo here um, for your business or you could add your own page we're going to write um, demo company here and then your time zone Now this is where it is really neat. Okay. This is where it's a huge time saver in your business. Let's say you are at the point in your business that you've mastered two or three social media accounts and you are posting. Okay. Um, again, if you're brand new, you need to focus on one, get to know it and then expand. But here you can post on um, Facebook. You are, if you're doing Facebook for ads, Twitter. Now, Instagram isn't here yet, but they will send you a notification reminder and say, Hey, um, you posted every place else. Make sure you get your Instagram. Uh, there is a little note here that they're working on it. That's usually a big one. Everybody wants to make sure they can post on their Instagram. So, you know, if you get on there now and you know that they'll at least notify you, that step is there. Um, they also, um, can post on Pinterest, LinkedIn, and Google my business. So we're, I'm going to just connect to a couple. Let's do Pinterest and Twitter. Now, each time I hit one of these, it's going to actually search for my account and then connect. So I'm just going to do Twitter and Pinterest right now, um, just for the sake of time. So we're going to connect to those and then we'll, sh I'll show you how um, you can set up your account. Okay. I changed it to Facebook. Um, when I was trying to get into my Twitter account, it wasn't taking my password and it would take me a while to go look in my Google docs to find the updated one and all that stuff. So anyway, I am in um, Facebook and I just put it on my business page and Pinterest. I just picked a couple things. So with that, make sure as you're setting up, you have access to all of your accounts and all of your passwords. It will take you a few minutes to get that all connected. Um, what happened was it just connects, but then you'll have to know your username and password. All right, let's go to the next step. Now this one, if you have a team working for you, or maybe you just hired someone in your family, maybe there's, or maybe one of your kids, your teenage kids could help you with this. Okay. You have diff three different workflows that you can choose from. So this is one thing I do love about this one. You can have um, more than one collaborator in charge. So if you have somebody helping you, but then there's going to be some um, different steps. Uh, draft pending approval requires edits approved scheduled and published so your post is going to be in one of those pockets if you don't need all that it's just you nobody else is working with you then you want to come down here possibly look at the light workflow one collaborator but you still may have some things in draft pending approval requires edit schedule published you're still thinking well i don't really set up drafts i just get right in and i do it then you want to go down here zero work through no approval steps three post states you're going to have a draft scheduled published so you're not going to go in and edit and things like that let's just go with the light one and select that for today now if you're someone that runs out of ideas 
Uh, maybe sometimes you're sitting down, you're like, oh my gosh, I, you know, I just need like 10 more ideas because I'm posting for the whole month and that can be cumbersome. Right here, you can ask Loomly to grab your RSS feed URL. So maybe you have feeds coming into those different um, platforms. They can pull them in and say, hey, here are some things you might want to repost or you might want to edit it and post it. If you don't want them there, then don't add it, okay? I'm going to skip that for now and we're going to go forward. But a pretty cool idea because like I said, it'll help you with ideas. Here you can invite people to approve, con contribute, or view your post on your calendar. So maybe you want someone um, like that first step to, to come and be a collaborator. Collaborator, um, Say that really fast, three times, collaborator. But put their email in and whatever their role is. And their role could be an editor, a client, a contributor, a viewer, or just a custom role. So maybe you just want someone to look them over even. Uh, maybe you're um, in a position um, <clears throat> where, you know, you've got somebody you're working with um, and they, you know, you have them come in and get their ideas. So you have these options, you do not have to choose them. All right, now we're gonna finish and get to the fun part. I just wanted you to see how easy it is to set up. Cause sometimes we see these different tools for our business and just trying to learn the tool can be overwhelming and then you get stuck and you're more overwhelmed. But it, if you just take the time, schedule the time and say, I'm just going to sit down, take a whole day, maybe take two whole days, block everything out and get it done. And then you have a whole month where you can have stuff already posted and you don't have to worry about it. Um, I, in teaching as a teacher, um, I have, I'm a teacher and I homeschooled, but one of the things that I would do, especially with children that have trouble doing lots of things at once is we called it block scheduling or block teaching. Well, even with business, I recommend to people when they get overwhelmed, they have too many tasks to do. I tell them to think of all your tasks in blocks and maybe in one day only do two things but do a lot of it. Does that make sense? So you're blocking it. Instead of doing five different things every day, you might do just two things. Um, just like with YouTube videos, you know, get all your videos done in one day and then it's done. When you're posting for social media, get it all done in one day. And again, if you're new and still coming up with ideas, maybe half a day, two half a days would work. But you have to figure out what works for you without getting overwhelmed and without losing that focus. Because sometimes if you're all over the place, you, you get distracted and then you never finish it. And then this tool is useless because you're not using it. And that's what a lot of people do. I have seen so many people start their business and they buy all these wonderful tools and they're putting out monthly fees and then they don't use it. And in, in my heart, I hate to see that. I hate to see people waste their money like that, but I don't think people do it on purpose as much as they just get overwhelmed. So I'm giving you that little tip right now. Take the time, sit down, and again, I, as a brand new person, I would take two days, just block them out and get it done and then move on to something else. Okay, so let's move on. Here, just to get started to understand how the system works, Loomly gives you ideas, like there's Funny Friday, you can get a quote and they'll give you different ideas. So you can even pull from their library if you, if, if you, you know, per se. All right, so now, we're going to pull something. When am I scheduling it? Today's the 27th, um, let's say 11.30 a.m. This is only for my reference, so I might say it's a quote. Maybe every day I'd like to post a quote, okay? And I'm going to label it um, inspiration, okay? And then we're going to go next. Where do you want to post it? I want to post it on my Pinterest. And which board do I want to post it on? Great. Um, quotes. I have a board called Quotes right there. All right. And I want to put it on my Facebook page. And it's also called Quotes. Okay. So let's go to the next uh, thing. I just want you to see that you can post it two places at once. 
Now, this is a place where I can say something. I can put the quote or the hashtags. You have to be careful on whatever platforms you're on. Make sure whatever you're doing that they all take it. For instance, if I was putting a really long passage for Facebook, I can't put that on Pinterest and I can't put that on Twitter. So since I'm just putting a quote, um, it's going to be fine for both. So keep that in mind, especially if you like to put lengthy posts in your Facebook page. So I just put a corny quote, the early bird gets the worm. I put three hashtags. Both of them will work with Pinterest and it will work with my Facebook page. If you want to put a URL in there, like, like right down here, you can put a picture, you can put a video and anything like that that you want. I'm going to leave those alone for right now um, for the sake of time. And we will continue. Now, one thing before I go right here where it says hashtag, you, if you have certain hashtags that you use all the time, like if you use hashtag and I use my name, let's say, okay, I use my own name as a hashtag a lot. I can, I can save it. Okay. And then here's another one hashtag. Um, start your own business. goodness and then up here I didn't hit the enter oh that's the name of the collection okay all right so you can you can save your hashtags and then you can go in and grab them whenever you want them okay now once I hit next it says fine tune it is there anything that you want to do here's where you can add content media specific to each channel so on Pinterest, I could put a link to my YouTube channel or a YouTube video. I could do the same thing with Facebook actually, but I'm not going to add anything, but this is where each one of your platforms, you can customize it and make sure it fits. Maybe you did have a big paragraph that you wanted to add to Facebook to go with that quote. Maybe you wanted to explain how it's touched your life and tell a story. This is where you can add it. Okay. So I'm just going to hit got it and then they're going to give you some tips about, you know, was that the best time? This is Facebook. It's telling me um, simple status posts are not recommended. Why don't you try and share a link or an image or a video? So they're saying you're just putting a post. You need to add some more to it. So they're going to give you some ideas. What's going to make it better than what it is. All right. Which is awesome for each one of your individual posts. So then you can fine tune each one from here. Now I've never seen on a social media management platform where you can actually pick your audience. Okay. So you can say, these are the preferred audience that I want to see what I'm posting. So if you're, if you've already started your business, you have a target audience, you can target your audience here. Um, we're just going to go in and pick, um, uh, I don't really, uh, masters. I'm just picking some things. Interest, you can type them in and locations, you can type them in. Okay. So let's go next. All right. Now I can save it. I can schedule it or I can post it. So, um, if I'm not sure if I'm finished, I can go ahead and save it. I could schedule it right now or I can publish it right away. So I'm going to schedule it just so you can see, because this is a scheduler. Now, Pinterest wants a picture. You're not allowed to post anything on Pinterest without a picture. So the whole system stopped me and said, you can't schedule it until you have a post. So up here, um, the picture, the little photo icon was in green. So all I have to do is hit that and then I can go ahead and pull up a picture from my browser. So I'm going to do that right now. Now, basically it brought me back to step three, where it said, define what you want to put on each page. So just a hint, when you get, do any Pinterest, you want to make sure you have some pictures. Now I have some chickens. I went into my folder and I grabbed it real quick. Um, it happened to be on my desktop. Again, I would not post this. I just want you to see the steps and how easy it is to follow. So there's my chicken with her head sticking out. It goes kind of with the, um, the quote early bird gets the worm, right? That all works. All right. So let's hit next. And now we're going to post to our Facebook and to Pinterest. Oh, that is an old picture. I don't have that horse trailer anymore. That's an old one. 
All right, again, it tells me the different things that I need to do to improve it. And then I hit next after my improvements. And now we are going to uh, look at our audience. It's already been picked. Let's go next. And now I'm going to schedule. And that's what we've been waiting for. How do you schedule? Um, again, it takes time and thought, but remember you're doing it all in one block in a day or two, and you've got, you can schedule out for the entire month. I have another tip for you before this is over about scheduling that I learned from somebody else that is, um, ahead of me. Okay. So we are going to put this on Facebook and we're going to schedule it. It says scheduled and then we're going to schedule it. Um, I scheduled it for today at 1130. And it's been uh, scheduled to both places and it's ready to go. So I can have everything go. It'll publish to all my accounts th that I want it to go to and it's done. So if you publish like three times a day or twice a day or even once a day on various accounts, everything will go out at the same time. And I've just done the work once. I don't have to go into each of those accounts and you're going to get better at it as you go. You, you might even, um, during the month, as you have ideas, start a folder, um, get a Dropbox or a Google doc, um, folder and just start throwing things in there. If you have some images or some quotes that you like to start throwing them in there. And then when it's time to sit down and do the next month, you have all your stuff. Now here's my tip to end the day. Um, after just come up with three really good months, like 90 days of posts. Okay. Three good months, maybe even four. And then after you use them, recycle them, go back in and you can recycle them and use them all over again. So you don't have to keep recreating them over and over. Now, once in a while, especially on Facebook, you might have something personal that you want to add or something that you really want to share. That's lengthy. You can go into pay Facebook on your own and just post stuff like that, the current stuff, but that stuff that you want to post, you know, some quotes, some inspiration, some, um, you might teach some things about the business that you're in to help people. Maybe you're into oils and you have different products that you want to share shared, like what they do, um, how they help improve their life, things like that. You will just post it and it'll be on its own rotation. So there's my tip. So you're doing a lot of work in the beginning. You get that system in place and then you don't have to keep touching it except when you go in to reschedule them, to recycle them. Okay. So one day a month, it's going to turn into maybe a half a day or maybe to two hours after you recycle and you just saved yourself a heck of a lot of time. I hope this was helpful to you. The link is below. You see how easy it is to post, get the 15 day free trial, check it out. There are various, uh, social media management programs out there. I like this one because of how simple it is to use and it will just post everything for you all at once. I like the fact that they're getting ready to add Instagram. I know that's a big deal to people. And sometimes the companies that have Instagram are charging higher prices, which isn't fair. So anyway, this one is economical. Check it out. And um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that button for notifications every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I will have a new video out for you. Have a great day. And again, thanks for watching.